welcome to a new feature on my channel that I'm gonna call. Yeah, that's cute, but is it brown girl friendly? Hey guys, how you doing? How you feeling? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to the family. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different on my channel. I'm going to be reviewing three makeup products that has recently been released and giving you a very thorough review on them. But before I get into the video, I want to let you guys know, if you live in Chicago, I'm going to be there this weekend at the Black Beauty Summit. I will leave all the information down below, including to where you can buy your ticket. So hopefully if you live in Chicago, I will see you guys soon. So let's get into the products I'm going to be reviewing today. The first one is from NARS. This is their Velvet Matte Skin Tint. And the color I got is the Polynesia Dark One. So what this is is basically a tinted moisturizer that is supposed to go on matte and keep your makeup matte throughout the day. So if you're an oily girl, like myself, this is supposed to keep the oil at bay and prevent it from breaking up your makeup. So I was really excited to try this. This is similar to the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. The XPF is a little bit higher. This one is 30, that one is 20. I have tried that before and I do get oily at the end of the day. So I was really, really excited to try this. And plus I love NARS, so there you go. The next product that I picked up is the Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light, and I got the color Ambient. And this is just a highlighter, I mean, it's really nothing to say. This is strobe lighting powder, and this is supposed to give you a more natural highlight, but you can also get a more intense highlight with it as well. I have never been a huge fan of Hourglass, to be honest with you guys. I actually wanted to pick up their beautiful palettes they had during the holiday season, and I went to Sephora. Swatch Doom, mm -mm, no way. They had a palette with blushes and also powder, and I wanted to get it because it looked so cute. But once I swatched them on my skin, they didn't come up at all very well on me, which was just so disappointing. And plus, they were all the rage on YouTube, so I just really wanted to give it a go, and unfortunately, they just didn't work well with me. But with the Strobe Light product, they actually had different colors, and I was really excited about it because I actually found a couple that worked well with me, and I decided to go with Ambient. So I'm going to try this out, and you can see for yourself if you like it. And the last product I'm going to review is from MAC. This is their Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the color Tailored to Tease. And when it comes to liquid lipsticks, I mean, what is there to say? They're supposed to be very long-lasting. They, not all of them are matte, but these are. And, I mean, I think that's all really to say about liquid lipsticks. So I told you guys that this is going to be a thorough review, and it is, because the first time I applied it, I was actually running late to a Super Bowl party, and I didn't have time to actually set the camera up, apply it on camera, and all that good stuff. So what I did was apply the product, and then show you guys on camera what it looked like. So this is my base. I just put on concealer, and now I'm going to put on the skin tint. <laughs> Just about. And then I applied the Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light. So I put on way too much, as you can see. I was like, whoa, that's a lot. <laughs> and then I applied the MAC Liquid Lipstick. I didn't know it was going to be so bright. So I did have to go back in with a lip liner to kind of tone it down a bit. This is what it looks like with the liner. So we came back several hours later and this is what it looked like. Okay, so this is, oh, I look like a grease ball. I look so oily. It's not that bad, like <laughs> in person, it's not horrible, but yeah. It's, it's about 1.30 though, it's almost two o'clock. So my makeup's been on for a little over seven hours. So as you can see, my skin was really oily. I still think that it showed that it was crazy oily on camera, but not as oily in person, but still oily nonetheless. And then when it came to the highlight, it was still on point, and so was my lips. So I was really happy about that, but still not sure about the skin tint. 
So the second time I tried the product out, I did apply it on camera and I decided to do it the right way. I actually read the directions and it said that you're supposed to apply this product after you get done with your skin routine. So that's what I did. I applied the product with a little concealer on around the mouth and underneath my eyes. But I didn't go in with a heavier, con heavier concealer like I did the first time around. And I did apply primer as well. That lasted all day long. I think I applied it around 4 and I took it off around midnight. It lasted so well. The makeup lasted throughout my meals. My skin wasn't crazy oily. The highlight was still on point. So I was very happy with the second time around. Third time around, I wanted to apply it on camera the right way. Again, I did apply a little bit concealer around the mouth and underneath the eyes and I did use my favorite primer ever, the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer. So both of the times before, I ate like regular stuff and it didn't have any problem. But this time I decided to eat spaghetti to really put it to the test. So obviously I wasn't eating in the mirror so I didn't know if it was coming off. But I did notice like when I would take my cup to drink after I ate the spaghetti, I did notice pink lipstick marks around the rim. So I was not happy about that because before I ate and drank and never saw anything coming off of my lips. But I'm guessing because it was a saucy meal that that's why the lipstick did come off. But at the end of the night when I usually go kiss Derek because he goes to sleep before me, I like give him a kiss goodnight. He was like, nah. Lipstick still on. Like it's still on because I hadn't went to the bathroom to look. He was like, yeah, like full on. It's, like you good. And then I did go see in the mirror um, later on. I think about two hours later, the lipstick was still on. It didn't look like it had rubbed off or anything. So that is good to know. All the other makeup was really intact, fully like no nothing seeping through. The highlight still on point. Everything was good. So that was the third time I tried this product and I'm actually wearing the product right now. Um, again, little concealer right here, nothing else, skin tint, no contour, just the highlight and the lipstick and a lip liner, obviously. So when it comes to the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint, I want to say first that I was happy that they have lots of shades when it comes to this product. I was really happy to see that because in the past when I went to Sephora looking for a CC cream or just anything that wasn't a foundation I had such a hard time getting color match for something they would always say oh you have to go to the counter at Nordstrom or Macy's because we only go up to this much or whatever all the colors in the range at Sephora was good I don't know if that's a Sephora job or a NARS job but regardless I'm really happy that they had lots of colors in this range and I wasn't the last damn dark color Y'all know how it is sometimes, like it's just like oh, one dark color. There were like three other colors, I think, after Polynesia. So I was very, very happy with that. Another pro about this product is the fact that it is actually weightless. I'm, I'm like wearing this right now. I do not feel like I have anything on my skin. It's very skin-like. It's very breathable. Like I don't feel like I have like something heavy on my skin or like dry on my skin it just feels like I'm wearing my own skin without any makeup on at all so I love that as well so this is supposed to be a sheer finish which I do agree with but I do like that it actually does cover up some blemishes so even though I didn't conceal like all around my face you still don't see as many blemishes as I have with this product on which is really good for someone who doesn't have amazing skin without makeup. Now when it comes to the cons I'm going to say that it will show some shine after you wear it for like four hours. I don't think that's a bad thing because when I wear the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer I am full blown oily if I don't put on any primer at the end of the day. This one you don't get as oily and Again, I don't mind a little bit of shine coming through. I feel like that's just natural. I mean, you're going to produce oils regardless if you're oily or not. But you don't get as oily with this product, so I do like that. When it comes to the Hourglass Euphoric Strobe Light, I'm going to have to say that I absolutely love the color range as well. And I was very upset before that they only had a few colors when it came to those palettes that they released during the holiday. 
and I was just like what about the girls are a little bit darker like what about us what about us and this one I don't know if it's just because it's a regular range and not the holiday set that comes in a palette but they had lots of different colors to choose from which I thought was amazing because I was able to actually buy something that worked for my complexion I like that this highlight can be natural but you can also pump it up and make it more intense it says that you can make it more intense by wetting the brush and then applying the product but I noticed that you can just go ahead and tap it in a little bit more than twice to get a more intense highlight I also like the fact that this is a very pigmented product I mean it's pricey so I don't like when I have to pay a lot for a product and feel like I have to really dig in there for it to actually give me some color payoff this one is super pigmented and I feel like it's going to last me years. I'm not sure if I should keep it for years, but it will last me a very long time because it's a lot of products and you only have to tap it once or twice to get a full on highlight. When it comes to the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick, the first pro is that it's easy to apply. I like that the applicator is a little fat. So it's easy to apply when you're trying to apply it all over your lips or even if you're trying to get a precise line. I can't stand those really skinny uh, applicators that you have to like slap on constantly to try to fill up all over the lips. So this one is a little bit thicker so it doesn't take that much and it's easier to apply and it's quicker to apply as well. I like that this product even though it's matte and that it's not dry. I have Max Ruby Rue lipstick and also Hole from the Riri collection and those are some dry ass lipsticks. I have to make sure I have my lips super moisturized before I apply because they are so freaking dry and they cause my lips to crack like regardless of how long I put them on I always end up feeling like they, there's some cracks up in there so this one although it's matte it's not dry and I love the texture and I love the way it feels on the lips I also didn't like that they didn't have the original MAC colors in a liquid lipstick form like I really love MAC's Hug Me and Rebel I mean they did have a plum color but I just knew for sure they was going to have some of the original colors as the liquid lipsticks. But they didn't. I hope to see them in their collection too. So that's it for this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did by leaving a comment below. And please give it a thumbs up. And let me know if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Okay, I think that's it for this video. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow. Alright. Bye. Super duper easy peasy dish. It's a vegan dish. It's actually vegan chili. And I got this from Deliciously Ella. She's a food blogger who has two cookbooks.